my channel. It's time to get spooky. All the dust and cobwebs in my house just became decorations because it is time for Halloween. Today we're going to be undecorating my porch for fall and then redecorating it for Halloween to give it tons of spooky vibes. I am so excited because it's my favorite time of year. As you can see I've got my flannel on and we are going to get started right away because we've got a lot to do. In this video you're going to be seeing taking down the decor, putting up the new decor, and two great DIYs that you can do on a budget. Some are almost completely free and just using things that you have in your house to give your front porch a little bit of a spooky vibe too. If you're trying to decorate on a budget like your girl, cause you know we always be balling on a budget, then stay tuned because I have got a couple ideas for you and I can't wait to share with you guys my porch. Everything will be linked down below. Without further ado, let's get started. To start out, I have to take all the fall decor down. For me, Halloween and fall are two completely different sets of decor. While some things can remain, like some of the pumpkins, most of the orange and fall leaves and that type of decor goes away for next year because it's time to break out the spooky stuff. It's totally okay to just leave up fall, whatever works for you. For years, it was all the same set of decor for me. I do like to remind people who watch of a few things when I'm decorating. First, it's taken me years to build up my decor collection, so if you're just starting out, please don't compare. I have shopped clearance sales for Halloween decor for over 10 years to get all of this stuff. And second, holidays and YouTube videos are my job. While I do love decorating for my family and making holidays special, all influencers that share holiday decor have a lot of it because it's our job. I know we all compare ourselves to each other, and even I am super envious of other people's decor. But any decor you have is fine, no matter where it's from and what it looks like. If you like it and it's making holidays special for you and your family, then it's perfect. Don't blow your budget on holiday decor just to keep up with other people. For my first DIY, I literally went out back and picked up sticks. I did a smaller version of this for my table last year, but basically all you need to do is go out and get some large branches and some black spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint the branches black and then use them on either side of my door to create some spooky tree-like vibes. I'm going for black with pops of orange and like a vintage spooky vibe for my porch, so I thought this would be perfect. Not to mention, it's pretty much free and spray paint is only $1.24 at Walmart. I'm using some old flower pots I have to secure the sticks and then I'm going to pile up pumpkins around the bottom. I spend too much money every year on pumpkins, but I love the ones that are different colors and shapes so much. They're so fun to mix in with regular orange pumpkins, they can stack on top of each other, and they just give me all the fall feels. If I could, I would probably buy twice as many pumpkins to be honest. Maybe one day I'll just grow my own. If you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really rainbow. I've been ready for Halloween since last Halloween and it goes without saying holidays are my jam. I make YouTube videos about motherhood, DIYs, home decor, and what it's like to be me, someone who is slightly domestic and really relatable. I have two daughters who are four and nine and a husband who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here. I'm a bit of a hot mess. I like to steal my kids peanut butter cups after trick-or-treating and I'm only a Pinterest mom if it can be done in less than 15 minutes. So if you relate to any of that and you're not subscribed, hopefully you will. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram for more DIYs, travel, and day in the life videos. Anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, do you decorate for Halloween or just for fall? So I do have a few decor pieces to put out here and of course some lanterns. I feel like lanterns are very versatile for every holiday. Next up are the lights. 
I love lights. I actually have nails in the trim around my door to hold my lights for every holiday. If y'all love lights too, just wait for Christmas because I go all out on decor for Christmas. You can literally call me Clark Griswold, y'all. lot of leftover lights right here I think I'm going to get one of the lanterns and put them inside of the lantern so that way it doesn't there's nowhere else for the lights to go but that way you know I can utilize the light somehow so I'm gonna go get a lantern so I have this lantern I think I'm just gonna put it right here So that way that should light up there and look kind of spooky. So I have this like creepy cloth. That's what it was called. It's from Dollar Tree. I was thinking I might hang this up at like the top of the door. Sometimes I just wing it honestly. Like when I'm putting stuff up for holidays and I'm trying something new, which I try to do something new every year, I just like wing it and hope for the best and sometimes it turns out good and sometimes I change it like 15 times. But I think this will like cover up the lights a little bit. Because right now you can like see the string. So I think I cover that up a little bit and then like make it look kind of spooky with the light shining through it. We'll know better when it gets dark. I think it needs more. Hold on. Here's more. The thing about Halloween decorations is you want it to look really good at dark and you want it to look really good during the light. So it's the same for Christmas decorations. And especially if you're using lights and stuff, you want it to be like, like aesthetically pleasing both day and night, which is really hard to do sometimes because you know, you can stick a thousand lights everywhere at night and it's gonna look great. But if you stick a thousand lights everywhere during the day, it's gonna look like cheesy. So. Hopefully this will help. I don't know. It might still look stupid after I'm done, but let's see. I don't, I don't really know how I feel about it. Is it gonna annoy me when I walk out the door? Maybe. Does it look good? Also maybe. When it comes to hanging decorations, command hooks are my best friend. So these spiders are from Dollar Tree and I'm using command hooks to hold them up so they look like they're crawling up my door. It's the easiest way to keep them on there and secure and not have to struggle. As always, if you have any questions about products or where something is from, make sure to check down below. I try to link everything that I use or at least something similar if I can't find it. And of course, it wouldn't be Halloween without my skeleton. I honestly feel like he needs a name. What do you guys think? Leave me some suggestions down below and we can pick one together. I might actually pick up another skeleton before my next video too. I saw Home Depot has them for $30, which is the cheapest I have found them, not on clearance. I love a good skeleton. It ties in nicely with the vintage Halloween vibes that I try to go for. I really just love traditional Halloween items like witches and cats and skeletons and that sort of thing. So this is a very minor thing, but I cut holes in his eyes and then in the back of his head. And I have some lights that are in this and I'm just gonna shove them into the back of his head. And it's going to make his eyeballs glow. 
which I thought was kind of spooky. So he's just gonna sit up here with his glowing eyeballs. So I've currently got quite a lot going on out here. I still need a doormat, which I have not found like a Halloween one. I think I just really want like a plain kind of black one, but I feel like I got a lot going on so it needs to be pretty simple. And to be honest, like not a lot of people walk up to our door on Halloween night. Uh, most of the time, everybody in our neighborhood is like set up on like by the road. So really my like plan is to put more out in the yard too. Like we're gonna have a graveyard. The graveyard's gonna be in my outdoor decorate with me as is like the front of the garage cause I'm gonna put some stuff up there. So if you're not subscribed yet, I wanted to let y'all know what you'll be seeing in my channel for the next few months and hopefully you can join the fam so you don't miss out on anything. In my next few videos, I will be sharing more Halloween decor, DIYs, and lots of inspiration. We're going to be hanging out while I decorate inside and outside, build my very own graveyard, and transform my house from fall and fabulous to super and spooky. October is all about Halloween over here. For my next DIY, I'm gonna be making a wreath. I don't have any spooky door hanger signs, so I looked on Pinterest to see if I could find a wreath I could make. And I found this one and decided to recreate it. For this, all you need is a grapevine wreath, which usually they're like $5 at any craft store, a pack of fake spider web, and some spiders. My spider web and my spiders came from Dollar Tree. I took the spider web out and started stretching it out over the wreath until it looks like actual spider web. The more you stretch it, the better it looks. And then placed my spiders where I wanted them to go. After making sure that they were in the right place, I hot glued them on. Super easy, super quick, and super inexpensive for a wreath. All in all, it cost me about eight bucks, and I think it goes really well with my theme that I have going on on my porch. I couldn't stop there, so I have to throw in one more quick and easy DIY I did for the outdoors. I love jack-o'-lanterns, and I love how classic they are, but the light-up ones cost a lot of money if you want a lot of them, and the real ones don't last because, well, I live in the south. So I decided to take some dollar pumpkin buckets and turn them into jack-o'-lanterns. All my Walmart had was these blue ones, so I picked up six, cut out their faces, and then spray painted them black first. I thought spray painting them black first would give them a nice rustic look and cover up the blue. Then I went in with this really cute rustic burnt orange color and sprayed them again. I love the color of them and how they turned out and how they look. So easy to just stick a battery powered light and call it a day. Now you have a jack-o'-lantern. And of course, the last thing I have to do is add some more lights because, well, it's me and why not? So I use these outdoor LED light strands that we were gifted. I'll link them down below so make sure to check them out. They came with hardware to hang them, like if you wanted to put them around your door or something, but I wanted them to light the walkway. So I used little stakes to stake them in the ground. I love them a lot and, and they definitely make everything a little brighter, but still keep it kind of spooky.
All right, witches, it's time to see it all put together. I like how everything turned out a lot and it looks super great at night, so make sure you hang on for that part. It's got lots of great classic Halloween vibes and it might be a little extra, but that's okay because I too am a little extra. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because there's so much more where this came from. I'll talk to y'all soon. And by the way, if no one's told you lately, you're doing a great job.